Hello everybody, John here and welcome to the second video in my new series where I'm drawing and rigging a character from scratch, obviously in this case a minion. Um, in the first video I simply drew the line work for, my, for, our, for our minion and in this video I'm going to be doing the colour for you. Um, so since the last video I have added the little logo on his chest, I kind of forgot that, so I did that in uh, before I started the video, um, but apart from that everything is the same. Um, so this is the image just to remind you that we based our character on uh, and that's obviously the line work now. Um, so what we have to do obviously is add the colours. Now if you've never worked with palettes before they're really simple but the one uh, tip I would definitely give you is to always um, create one palette per character. So rather than having like a palette per scene and having all of your colours chucked into that one palette I would recommend that you create a new palette for every character and that way it will stop you from getting too confused. Um, so over here on the right hand side of the screen you'll hopefully see your, the palettes window um, and, the, and this is where you create the palettes themselves, not the colours, just the palettes and to create a new one you just click on the plus symbol um, and then you can name it whatever character or prop you're making and click OK. As I've got them in my minion rig uh, palette already I won't do a new one but that's how you create one if you need to. And then below that you'll see all the colours in that palette at the moment, obviously we only have black um, so we also have to create all of our colours. So to do that I'm going to take the colours from our original image like so. So if I close that down a second, there we go. Uh, so what all you have to do is you click on the plus symbol and, and a new black colour is copied into your little box on the bottom here. Now double click on that one and rather than manually um, inserting the colour I'm going to click on the eyedropper and just select a colour off of the image and you'll see down here that is now turned to yellow and I'll just name that skin and then all we have to do now is click on the plus button again uh, and create another one, a clone of the previous colour or a copy of the previous colour and we can just select our eyedropper and oh come on computer it's going to work there we go and we'll do the, say, the, the glasses and we'll rename that and again, this time we'll go for the sort of strap around his head. And what else do we need? So we're going to need the, the white of his eyes. And then we're going to need his pupil, the pupils. This one might be a little bit trickier because it's very close up. So we'll try and it's, there's quite a lot, there's quite a lot of colour in there. So try and go for a ready or that's it. That's not bad. A brownie kind of colour. Um, so if so, I'll, I'll do the teeth as well. But I, I would always recommend that you do um, similar colours separately. So even though like the, the eyes and the teeth are both white, um, always try and do a separate colour for each because later on if you did want to change the kind of tone of the teeth or the eyes uh, obviously if, it's, if you're using the same colour for both then they'll, they'll both change um, so in this case we want to make sure we have two separate colours is it going to do it is it going to do it there we go um, now I would do obviously the overalls but what I'm going to do there is I want to use a texture for that so I'll come back to his overalls later we need to do his buttons because they're a slightly different kind of bluey grey colour. And then working our way down, we need to do his boots. And then we'll do his gloves. Again, they're the, probably the same colour, but we will do them separately just in case. And I'll use the glove over here. Right, so I think that's it. And with the, um, I'll come to the logo later. But what I want to do is, is, is I want to add some, some some opacity to the logo because you'll see that I'm, I'm going to add a texture to the overalls, and I want that texture to come through on the logo. So I'll show you how to do that later. Um, but I need to create a new color for that as well. Actually, I'll do that now while we're here. So I'll go to the black because I want to copy the black color. When I open it here, I'm going to just lower the gray, the alpha, sorry, a little bit and name that logo and we'll come back to that a bit later. 
Okay, so I think that's pretty much our colors done in our palette list down here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take I mean onto our drawing layer. Now it's a really cool trick because in Toon Boom each layer itself has four layers. Now on the side here, if you can see where my mouse is, you see these little buttons here. Now the top one is your overlay art layer. Your second one which is the kind of default one is your line art. Then you have your color art and your underlay art. Now they come in really handy when you're doing um, the actual rig in the network view. Um, but and particularly if you're doing auto patching, you really want your or you have to have your color on your color art layer. So it's really important that that's the case. So to make your life easier and rather than having to manually move all your color to the color art layer, you can select um, all the line artwork and over here you have this little button that has got this like a mattress, I suppose. Um, which is create color art from line art. You click on that. What it does, it makes a copy of all the lines and puts um, basically like a template on the color art layer. Now, if I turn off that the line preview with my K button, you'll see it's, there's, there's nothing actually there. It's just the uh, invisible strokes. But what we can do now is on this our color art layer is start filling in. So if you select your paint unpainted, you can go through it. Oh, select the skin and go through and start filling in all the bits that need the color so the skin the glasses the strap uh, we've got the white of the eyes the pupils I'll use the black for the central part and I'll use the eyes for the little highlight now we've got teeth Uh, his buttons, his boots, and his gloves. Okay. What more is I going to do? So I'm going to get rid of the logo stroke. So I won't need that. Um, also, one thing is in a future video, I'm going, to, I'm going to come to his mouth. And I'm going to do quite an advanced rig on his mouth. So, what I'm going to do just quickly is create another color just for, really for the future called mouth which will be the inside colour of, of his mouth. And using the multi-wheel tool, I will just select a kind of dark red, uh, like so. And I'm going to fill that little tiny gap in between his teeth in for now. Now, if we go back to our camera, camera view, turn off our preview, he's looking pretty good already. I'm, I'm quite happy with him as he is. Um, so what was, what's missing now is the textured body. So to do a texture, it's really, really simple. First of all, create a texture of your choice in Photoshop. Now make it really big, because um, I think about your screen size, if it's 1920 by 1080, try and make it two or three times bigger than that, I, I recommend. So then if you do a zoom up or a close in, then it doesn't go all blurred and, and kind of, you know, out of focus or pixelated, that's the word. So try and make it really, really big, and then save it as a PSD file. Now down here in your palette, you've got a little plus with a T next to it, which is for texture. Click on that and it opens up um, your window. And I've got my denim texture pretty pre-made for you. Um, so you click on the thing and open it. Now in the same way that I've just done the normal colors, all you have to do is click on your texture, go to your fill, and let's go, let's go up to our drawing layer on the color art layer, and simply fill in all the spaces you need with the texture. Now obviously what it does is it scales that texture to the size that you're filling. And yeah, so at, at the moment, for example, the if I zoom in, you see that the texture here is a lot bigger than the texture here, which is tiny. So I need, so I need to make sure that they're the same. So go up to your contour editor and select edit gradient texture. You can then select these textures individually and there's a box around them. Now the box indicates the whole size of the image, uh, the, whole, the whole size of the texture. And what I like to do is grab that and make sure that there's no repeating pattern because anything outside that repeats it. So we drag that down the bottom here, enlarge it so it fills the gap, and use that then to go in and take all the other ones, and enlarge them out so that almost oh, probably a bit too big. So that all the textures are roughly you know the same size. So it looks a bit more natural. That's quite cool. Go in the pocket. So we'll, that's far too small, so we'll make that 
a lot bigger and with the little trouser piece as well actually I quite liked the uh, shading on that so we'll bring that in okay so again back to our camera view and he's looking pretty good I'm, I'm pretty happy with that now earlier I was saying about the uh, logo uh, that I want that to be sort of a bit of see-through really so on my drawing layer, on the line art, I'm going to take that logo now, just to select it using the selection tool. And I'm going to go down and change that to the logo um, color. It's probably a bit too see through, so I'll just come back in and change the alpha. And now go back to my camera. You can see, if, if you look at that, you can still see the texture through the, um, the logo, which kind of makes it a bit more. Actually, I think I might make it a little bit lighter still. Yeah, that's a bit better. So you can actually see it. Now, I really like him, he looks really, really cool, but what I, what I want to do now is actually change the colour of the art lines, because what I want is rather than a black outline, as I for, for example the skin, I, I want to be that, that to be a darker version of the skin colour. And that's really simple to do. So again, if you go to your colour art layer, uh, sorry, your line art layer on your drawing um, tab, you can see just the, the, art, the, art, the, the lines, sorry, stumbling over my words today. Um, so I'm going to take my skin colour and I'm going to press the plus button so that duplicates it. Double click on it and make it just slightly darker. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my um, paint tools and select the ink lane, uh, the ink option. And all you have to do now is just swipe over all the ones that are the skin. So we'll just go through, look, and it changes the colour of any lines. So I'll go through all of those all the ones that should be skin get probably the mouth lines as well so after now what I've got to do is go through all the different colors and basically do the same thing so same in the same way that I create all of my colors for the fill I'm now going to go through and create new colors in the same way I did the skin so for example the glasses I'm going to make a new version of that oh it's going a bit weird on me there we go. And I'm just going to call that glass glasses line. Make it slightly darker. And then using my tool, I'm just going to go over and change the colour to that slightly darker grey. So what I'll do is I will just go through that quickly while um, while you have some music on, and uh, I'll come back to you in a minute when I've managed to colour recolour all the lines for you. Back in a second. slightly off color which I hope you agree it looks that little bit better it's not so strong um, there are still a few issues for example some of the lines poke over the top of lines they should be underneath now obviously when we break the character apart we will you know position everything in the right place so I'm not worried about that for now if you did want to change that all you have to do is just select select the item for example here go to drawing uh, trans uh, arrange bring to front and it just pops that in front but it's not don't be too worried about it at this stage and uh, that will we'll, we'll come to that at some other point like for example the hair here is a right mess but I'll, I'll properly tidy that up when we come to the breaking down stage which is the next bit so I hope you like my minion it's uh, he's done for now um, I'll say so thank you for watching uh, if you have any comments or questions or anything like that then please do let me know by leaving a comment in the section below um, and please do subscribe for all my future videos uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will be back with another video very shortly. Thanks for watching. Oh, that's my phone going off. Bye. <laughs>